relics have had a permanent place in the most diverse religions for many centuries. It doesn't matter whether it's the bones of an important saint or sacred objects. Time and again, we come across unique relics from times long gone in places of worship, which are still venerated by the faithful to this day. However, we'll now show you that the world of relics contains far more bizarre pieces than just holy crosses. Here are the 10 most disturbing religious relics in the world. Before we jump into it, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end if you want to see the strangest religious relic you've never heard of before. The Tongue of Saint Anthony after Anthony of Padua died on June 13, 1231, it was only a few months before the Portuguese religious priest was canonized by the Pope at the urgent demand of the people. After all, the most unbelievable miracles were ascribed to the clergyman during his lifetime. A story tells that St. Anthony once preached a sermon to some townspeople. However, when the inhabitants refused to listen to the priest's words, he went to the seashore, where numerous fish soon gathered to listen to the saint's explanations. So, given this impressive oratory, it would seem that the devout man was gifted with some kind of divine tongue. The fact that this metaphor is taken quite literally by Catholics is shown by the bizarre relic that's still kept in the Basilica of St. Anthony in Italy. In fact, this magnificently staged tongue and the associated lower jaw are on display here. According to legend, the tomb of St. Anthony was opened 30 years after his death. While the rest of the priest's body had crumbled to dust by this point, his tongue was still in excellent condition. Deeply impressed by this divine circumstance, the mortal remains were immediately taken to a blacksmith and prepared in a manner appropriate to the relic. Cloth Painting of the Virgin Mary it was 1531 when a Mexican farmer named Juan Diego suddenly heard an enchanting voice. Shortly thereafter, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to the farmer, who instructed the farmer to ask the bishop to build a local church. At first, however, the priest didn't want to believe Juan's stories, which is why he insisted on proof of his divine visions. So, it was then that Maria asked Juan to pick some flowers and bring them to the bishop. When he did as he was told, an image of the Mother of God is said to have miraculously appeared on the farmer's coat. The sacred cloak is still on display in the Basilica of Guadalupe today. Particularly amazing is that although the picture is now almost 500 years old, it hasn't faded a bit over the centuries. Even the scientists who studied the image of the Virgin Mary in detail couldn't explain how the material withstood the gnawing ravages of time. A bomb explosion in 1921 also couldn't damage the cloak, even though it was only a few meters away from the explosive device, which finally completes the myth of the mysterious relic. Catherine of Siena Consecrated virgin, doctor of the church, mystic. Just a look at Catherine of Siena's official titles gives us an idea of why Italy's patron saint was canonized in 1461. Among other things, she succeeded in persuading Pope Gregory XI to return to Rome in 1376. Catherine of Siena was also able to avert the schism that threatened shortly thereafter. In fact, the Italian is said to have had a vision one day in which Jesus Christ Christ spoke to her personally. Meanwhile, the Savior is said to have slipped a ring over Katerina's finger and taken her to be his wife. If you want to take a look at the saint yourself, you can do so in the Santa Domenico in Siena. In addition to the head of the patron saint, which is framed in bronze, there's also her thumb. The rest of her relics are in the possession of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva in Rome. Chapel of the Milk Grotto The old town of Bethlehem is one of the most extraordinary chapels on our globe. 
According to the story, the Holy Family, consisting of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, once fled the Bethlehem infanticide, which killed all the young male children in the city. On their escape, the Holy Trio took refuge in a grotto where Mary nursed her child and where later the Christian chapel was built. A few drops of breast milk dripped onto the floor of the cave, causing it to turn bright white. It so happened that sacred powers were soon attributed to the place, so that many childless couples made a pilgrimage here to pray for fertility. In addition, small parts of the floor of the milk grotto were repeatedly removed and then taken to various places in the Christian world in powder form. The Hand of Stephen I Stephen I not only founded the Kingdom of Hungary in the year 1000, but also managed to convert many of the pagans living there to Christianity. For this reason, the rulers still considered the national saint of Hungary today. After the important ruler died in 1038, his mummified body was reburied in a grave below St. Stephen's Basilica during the canonization of 1083. Since supernatural powers have always been ascribed to the king's right hand, the sacred body part was unceremoniously severed on this occasion and converted into a lavishly decorated relic. As a result of the various wars and political turmoil of the centuries that followed, the so-called Holy Rite was to be hidden in different places and passed into the loving hands of different owners. Since 1945, the relic has been in the original basilica in the Hungarian capital, Budapest. There, it's also been carried on annual processions for several decades. The Heart of Camillus von Lelis just like his father before him, the Italian Camillus von Lelis first decided to pursue a career in the military. The fact that Camillus had a strong passion for gambling, which ultimately caused him greatly, proves that not every later saint is automatically born as wealthy as a king. When the habit of the gambling-addicted soldier was also dissolved, he finally found himself facing the shards of his existence. Eventually, it was a memorable conversation with a Capuchin monk that roused Camillus and set him on the virtuous path of God. However, because the convert had a persistent wound on his ankle that simply would not heal properly, he was eventually expelled from the monastic order due to his physical frailty. It was then that Camillus realized that his divinely appointed mission was to help the sick and the ill. So it came about that the now devout man worked as a nurse, standing by the side of his severely disabled fellow human beings day and night. Later, Camillus von Lelis would eventually be ordained and found his own order. Since the patron saint of paramedics literally wore his heart in the right place, the corresponding organ was removed from his body after death and then exhibited in a wide variety of countries. Naum while we're on the subject of hearts, the heart of Holy Naum has always been entwined with the most fascinating legends. The priest is said to have performed numerous miracles during his lifetime. Accordingly, Naum allegedly healed mental illnesses and made the mute speak. Although Naum died in 910, his work is said to have endured long after his death. Thus, the saint appeared to many people in their dreams to dissuade them from their sinful lives. Particularly bizarre is that it's said that you can still hear the priest's heart beating if you put your ear to his coffin in the monastery of Sveti Naum in North Macedonia. Hyacinth of Caesarea the Church of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, on the outskirts of the Bavarian town of Furstenfeldbruck, houses one of the most disturbing relics of all. While we only find individual body parts of holy personalities in other places of worship, the entire pompously decorated corpse of a boy has been on display here for many centuries. 
This full body relic is appropriately known as Hyacinth from Caesarea. He starved to death in 108 AD because he refused to touch the unclean food that the Romans served him during his captivity because of his Christian faith. According to an old legend, a prison guard is said to have seen an angel comfort the boy shortly before his death and decorate his head with a crown. Buddha's Teeth in Buddhism, those people who've gone through a process of knowledge known as Bodhi are referred to as Buddha. Siddhartha Gautama, who died in 483 BC, is considered the founder of the world religion and the first Buddha in history. According to an ancient myth, some monks are said to have stumbled upon the Buddha's teeth, which gave their owners supernatural abilities. Over the centuries, more and more Buddhist temples have laid claim to possessing the real teeth of the historical Buddha. The story of a molar that's kept in a temple in Los Angeles seems particularly unbelievable. The tooth is said to be continuously growing and lighting up brightly from time to time, though there hasn't ever been any real evidence of this. It may seem very bizarre for someone to hold on to old teeth for such a long period of time, but you have to remember, people from this time period were very superstitious. Science was not nearly as advanced as it is today, so many people turn to the realm of mystics in order to find answers for everyday occurrences, often coming up with strange claims that may explain the world around them. These days, we know that most superstitions aren't real. However, back then they were as true as the sun rising each morning. The Divine Foreskin We've all heard the countless stories about relics and artifacts that were supposedly left behind by Jesus of Nazareth. However, this one is certainly one of the most unbelievable. No, we're not talking about the Holy Grail or the spikes that would have been used to drive Jesus' feet and wrists to the cross. Rather, we're talking about a supposed fragment of Jesus' foreskin that may have been left behind after he ascended into heaven. In the past, Many Christians were convinced that Jesus left behind a very special relic in the human kingdom during his ascension, his foreskin. When the supposed foreskin of the Messiah was discovered in 1557, strange events are said to have started immediately. In the village where it was discovered, mysterious clouds of fog and violent storms suddenly formed. However, healing powers were also attributed to the supposedly holy foreskin. Blind people who had rubbed the piece of skin over their eyes are said to have suddenly seen again. As far as we know, these stories are entirely false. After all, you have to keep in mind that this supposed relic was found more than 1,500 years after the Messiah had ascended to heaven. Also, there are no known writings in which Jesus spoke about leaving such a relic behind. Even if he did, there's nothing that separates this small piece of skin from any other piece of skin that could have been found in the region. So it seems likely that this was a hoax that merely got out of hand. In reality, it's entirely likely that these poor people were rubbing dead skin on their eyes for no reason at all. Though we must also entertain the idea that this strange relic could in fact have belonged to Jesus Christ. However, if this were true, and the artifact did have magical healing properties, don't you think news of it would have spread much further by now? After all, I'm certain most of us have likely never heard of this weird artifact until just now. So why has it remained hidden for so many years if it can supposedly heal the blind and make illnesses vanish? What do you think of these bizarre religious relics? We look forward to your comments. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if we were able to entertain you with today's video. Also, remember to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and see you next time.